guys? How we doing? How are we doing, guys? We are back. Let's go. Finally, we're going to be doing the damper video today. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. So I thought this would be the best time to do it um, today. Uh, spend a bit of time with it. Um, I'm going to do it live. I was going to do it in a video, but I thought... I thought this is the best way to do it because maybe I can answer a few questions as well. And then I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it up into all the best bits and I'm going to upload it as a video as well. But I thought if I do it live, I can answer questions and I can sort of, um, as we go along, just explain things, you know. I think I think this is something that's very hard to do in a video because it can take a certain, like quite a long period of time. Do you know what I mean? Yo, guys, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's well, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go, Melissa. How's everyone doing, guys? Thank you so much for the likes. And, and, and today, guys, we're gonna be I'm gonna be talking you through how I set my dampening up, um, what to look for, and and basically how I try to to get the car to balance where uh, where I feel's great for me, you know. So I've already done a few laps. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share this setup with you. This is my setup. So go back to the pins, return to the garage. Setup. And as you can see, this is fully, you can use this, this is the base setup that we're using. Um, definitely don't want, we're going to run, we're going to run quality fuel. No, we're going to run 20 litres, right? This is what I'm running right now. And this is the first laps I've done on, on this. Okay, so this is the dampening that I've got. And I, I've specifically done this as well, because I want to show you a couple of things that a lot of people get wrong. Um, and a lot of people may have questions about so I want to try hit this track on them straight like a nail on the head um, And next we're gonna go from here, right? So I'm gonna pull my tech up right now Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm gonna make it as big as possible So you can see here like always that and, and so no, no, another tip when you're doing your damping minimum of two laps guys a minimum of two laps Okay So let's get into it. What are we looking at right? This is the dampening from your dampeners page to Motec. There's loads of videos out there to how to show you to install it. Most of you guys are probably using it already, but I'm gonna go for it. So can you see here, the white bars here, the two white bars, right? This side is your slow dampening, the slow rebound. And here is your slow bump. So you see this dotted white line on the right hand side, slow bump, slow rebound. So, you, so what is that you may say? It's this, slow rebound, slow bump. When I say that, that's what they are. Slow B round, slow bump. Okay, on the outside, this here, of this graph, you see this number here? That's your fast rebound, fast bump. Okay, so when we change them, this is what we're going to be looking at. And I reckon there's a lot of people out there who use Motec probably, and they see this. And they're like, yeah, yeah, this is normally what my dampening looks like. How do I make this better, you know? So this is what we're going to be working on today. But. I've purposely changed the rear dampening because I want to I want to show you something that a lot of people always get and I always get questions about, right? You get this oscillation here, like this, this like it goes up and comes back down when you want. So you're always looking for like a pyramid. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes they're a bit curved, sometimes they're pointy, depending on the track. But then other times you get this. You get this friggin' up and down and these 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 peaks, right? And you're and and you're probably thinking, okay, but your your numbers here look pretty good. So just just a quick thing right now. When you're doing your dampening, right, you always want these numbers here, your slow and your fast, to add up to 50. A perfect, perfect dampening setting is 50. Right? So this here could be, I don't know, 35, this could be 15. Depending on how you like the car. But these these two numbers should always be around 50. So guys, I'm on Laguna right now. I'm on Laguna, but we're just, we're not practicing lap times. We're gonna talking about dampeners. So a lot of people may be thinking, yeah, so you've already got the 50, right? Um, Sorry guys, a gnat. I've got a gnat buzzing around me right now. <laughs> you know. So yeah, and people will always say to me, I've got perfect numbers, but the graph doesn't look right. So when the graph looks like this, it's normally under damped or over damped and, and and this is why this affects this is this is what this is this is right now this is over damped the 100 percent so when you get a graph that looks like this looks like this at the top obviously you can see here that the top numbers are completely off 
right? This is what you're looking for. So like I said, you're, these two numbers here, like you can see my mouse, always want to be around 50. The, like once you get to near, near that number, you can come down, it can go up a little bit, depending on how you want your car to feel. Okay, but yeah, people always say, I don't really use the graph. You always want to use the graph. You know, you always want that pyramid looking because when it's like this, even though you've got perfect numbers, that this ain't correct. You know, so I know right now the car is definitely over damped. But now you've got to think to yourself, OK, what's over damped? And why is it looking like that? You know, and this is what we're going to be going through today. I'm going to be making changes on the dampening um, to, to get it perfect. And I'm going to show you guys sort of how I do it. And and like I said, it's, it's always a learning curve and dampening. What can dampening do to the car? Soft dampening can make the car feel very sluggish. I don't know if you've ever read that. You know, and 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 since this last update, the one point update, I would say dampening was like a second spring. It was it never felt like dampening. It was really weird. Um since the one point eight update, I can use the rebounds, especially the rebounds on the rear. If I have them very high, it gives me more, more rotation. I feel like the dampening now is a lot better, a lot better in the game right now. Um, yeah, I'll show what scale I'm using, no problem. But I think whatever scale you, you, you sort of run, it, it always wants to add up to 50. So it doesn't really matter, I don't think, what, what scale. So minimum, two laps, and you're always going to look for 50. So this could be 35 and 15, you know, depending on what you run and how you like your graph to look. So let's go back to our dampening, right? What we're going to try and do, we're going to try and get these looking half decent. So like I said, always use the graph. Don't never come away from the, if the graph looks like this, but your numbers look good, it's probably over damped or under damped. Nine times out of 10, you're over damping the car. Okay, so we're going to go back to the car now, right? Um, so you can, uh, I don't know if you can see that. So our rear dampening, our rebounds on 32, right? And then our bumps for okay so now what i would do I, I would look up and i would say okay my bump is very high on the fronts as well so for me now i'm probably thinking okay the rebound's probably uh, probably around where i want it like because we, we, the front rebound doesn't look too bad it does need to come up a little bit but i think when we sort out the rears this rear bump a little bit because we've got a pretty nice peak there here you can see it's going up and then it comes down up so it it, it, it just looks Two over them, right? So. Yeah, so so let's talk about this quickly. If you lower the number, nine times out of ten, the graph is going to go down. The numbers are going to lower. So if I lowered my bump, it's going to reduce this number, and it should bring this down. It should. Unless it's under damp or over damp, like I said, and then we're going we're gonna to find our levels. Okay, so what we're going to do now, this is what I would do. I've done my first few laps. I've got my setup pretty much where I want it, and I want to fine-tune the dampening just to see how the car really feels, I'm trying to get a bit of a better balance. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at this here, and I'm going to say, hmm, I'm not too happy. My rebound looks a bit too high, and the fronts look a little bit... Well, the fronts are completely off. But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try work on the rears a little bit. So I'm going to bring the rear down. I'm going to come down to 15. I'm going to half that number on the rear okay so i'm going to go back here now but this is definitely going to bring the front the front down as well the rears and the fronts are all sort of connected because what, what we're doing if you don't know as well the bump is the compression so when when you break and you go down the force going down is the bump so this is what to remember when that stiff is going to slow that bump down going down the rebounds when it comes back up so I don't know if you've ever had that problem when you, you're braking and the car, the, the rear's coming round. Normally that's because the bump on the front's too soft. You need to stiffen the bump and it will slow the compression as you go down and it will stop that other steer. So always remember that. When you're braking, like the bump is for when you're braking, okay? Obviously the bump on the rear is when you're accelerating, but on the front, when you're braking, the bump is that. And when it comes back up is the rebound. On the rear, when you're accelerating, it's the bump. So... If the bump is too stiff on the rear, you get you can get oversteer. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to absorb the the pressure of when you're accelerating the car wants to squat a little bit, you know. And um, also as well, the rebound can be too high. Do you know when you're coming off the brake as well, 
uh, or you d you come off like I don't know if you've ever had this again maggots and beckets you lift off and the car wants to wants to come round wants to snap you, you don't even touch the brake that that can be the rebounds too uh, too stiff you know so I always sort of adjust the dampening whilst making the setup but I try not to uh, look into it too bad too much until the end like you always want to keep the damp because the dampening has a great effect on the cars now since 1.8 i feel like they put a lot of time into the dampening you know i feel like i get a lot more rotation i feel like it controls the performance of the car a lot better like i feel like dampening is a much bigger tool like especially the tight like the whole tire model the suspension the dampening i feel like it's been reworked loads okay so let's go back to the changes we're going to make now so i've looked at this and i'm like okay i i'm going to bring my damp this is over damp on the rear for sure 100% I know it is I've seen this look before so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring the rebound down a little bit I brought it down half actually I'm going to see if we can bring this 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 curve down because I think when we do that it's going to free up the front a little bit and I think it's going to look a lot better but I could be completely wrong but we're just going to test a few things I'm going to go through the process that I do okay so what we've done we've decreased the bump by 15 that was on 30 it's on 15 now we're going to go do some laps okay so let's go back out and we're going to talk about the effects as well. So we're going to be doing two lap runs as well. But it's definitely going to be a bit of a longer video. Yo, Jay, how are you doing, my man? But yeah, we're going to. We're, I'm just going to try to explain everything as much best as I can. Okay. So when braking, bump, and then when you obviously come off the brake, it's the rebound. Okay. So just remember when you're accelerating on the rear. The bump when you let off rebound, you know, that's that's the process of what the dampening is is basically doing, you know. And I want I so want you we try and focus on the effects of what we change and what was happening with the car. Yeah, I'm doing great, man. Doing really well. Also, dampening can really help with the overall feeling of the car can help with tire wear it, 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 it can really help you know getting this right spending a bit of time on it it can really change a way a car feels for sure but we're not going to focus on that time too much i just want to try to um hit everything and we're just going to go from there okay <clears throat> hope everyone's having a great thursday guys a lot of racing coming up again we need to find a bit more speed we sort of dropped off a little bit i think it's going to come for sure Okay, so we're going to do our two laps now. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, guys, after we've done the live stream, I will cut the video up into the best parts, so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Because like I said, I think it was just, I just, I wanted to do, do it live. I think I can answer questions, like I said, and it's just better for me to do it this way. You know, I don't want to miss anything out because you guys always come up with great questions, so. You can see we're already faster as well. Obviously, I only did a couple of laps. But I can already feel, so lowering the bump on the rear is going to is gonna squat a little bit. Um, it's a little bit softer now on the rear, basically. On acceleration, it's giving me a little bit more rear traction. You know? We're going to do one more lap and then we're going to check it again. Um, it can do, it can, it can influence. So if you have a car that's perf like, perfectly balanced, not too stiff, you know, you probably can go lower on the TC because you have more actual initial traction. You know, a car that's other than dense, it's not, it's not going to absorb the power to the rear as much. You know, the tires are going to want to spin, you're going to have to go up and TC. You know? For sure.
But yeah, we're just going to go through it, and then we're going to talk about fast dampening, what that does as well. The effects it can help with. You know. <clears throat> so, two laps, guys. Remember, always do try to minimum with two laps. It should, it should bring more, but I'm going to try to keep it to a minimum here. So we can sort of do the laps quick, get back, and then we can see... I can sort of explain to you why, what we need to change and how we want to get it, you know? Okay. So here we go. Let's have two that. I'm actually doing a video. I'm actually going to do a video on it, to be fair. So now what we're going to do, we're going to load up our next one. So remember how this looked. Let's see what the difference is right now. Like I said, even though, so just quickly, guys, even though we had the number we're looking for, the 50%, right, the graph is still off. So this means it's under that or over that. Something always to remember. Okay, so let's open, see what we look like now. And what the fuck? What time do we do? No, that times. Hmm. I was sitting in the pits for 45 minutes, two seconds ago, sorry. Hmm. We must have to do another couple of, oh no, here we go. This it. One twenty-two eight. Why is the lap not recorded? For some reason, where I was sitting in the pits for a long time, it sort of recorded that instead of the uh, the lap, which is a bit annoying. So this is where we were sitting in the pits, basically. So we mastered it again, but you can already see, you can already see the rebound's gone up on the left, and and this actually looks a little bit better. So what we're going to do, we're going to need to do another couple of laps quickly. <clears throat> Yeah, how's everyone doing? So, guys, what happened there? Just where we were sitting in the pits for 45 minutes, where I left it on. It's um, it's not uh, recorded the laps properly in the right order. Just a 45-minute lap. So, what are we going to do? We need to do them laps again. As I said. Right, let's open MoTeC again. But we still have the laps we started with, which is good. So, let's go. Sorry about that. Yeah, it, so what happened there, where I was sitting in a pit for so long, it's grouped that massive 145 um, 45 minute thing together. You know? And also what we're going to be talking about as well. Do you keep the damp and the symmetrical? Do I keep them symmetrical? Nine times out of ten, I do. I try to. But... But I, I, I've tracks like Brands Hatch and stuff where there's a lot of left, like a lot of right corners. That left hand side normally tends to be a little bit stiffer on the dampening. You know, just to absorb it a little bit better, you know. So definitely keep that in mind as well. You know what I mean? So we need to do these laps again. Try to do them as quick as possible. So guys, let me, uh, sorry. Sorry if I missed your questions. It's very hard to uh, look when we stop. I'm going to get these laps done. I'll read on the straight. For sure. But yeah, we're going to be, we're going to get this dampening right. And then we're going to be answering questions for sure. Throughout the night on it as well. Okay, but the uh, the toe thing, I'm going to do a video on for sure. I think that's going to be ready for tomorrow. I think it's just easier to explain in a video, to be fair. But let's see. Oh, let's go, Joe. I'm glad you're feeling better. If a McLaren gets off the brakes fast oversteer. Yeah, so what you need to do, if you've got it, so this could be anything though, right? As well. This may not, the dampening may not affect it, but if your dampening's way off, it probably is. 
So if you got off the brake, snap over steer, increase the uh, the bump on the front. So what that will do, it it will slow down the pitch as you go down, you know, a little bit as well. It can, it can also depend where, whereabouts you got it on the corner. So if you're like a fast corner like this, where you're like trailing in and then coming up whilst turning in, you know, because what can happen, it can pitch down too quick and the rear can come round. It depends really on what sort of corner as well. I feel like this track is perfect, you know, because you have the corkscrew, which is very tight and twisty, a lot of bumps here, and I wanted to keep the lap more. Yeah, the ARB can do that, so maybe you want to stiffen up the front ARB, but a lot of people probably overlook dampeners and Motec, because they probably don't understand it, right? But tonight, I just really want to try to focus on, on Motec. I really do. You know? You know, I'm really, I'm really pretty confident. A lot of people don't understand it yet, you know? But hopefully this video helps. Right, one more lap. But don't worry about the lap times today, guys. We're not doing setups on, I think. We're just talking about dampening and how we want to get it right. And the changes we're going to make. <laughs> also... Every time, every time you change your ride height, your springs, your ALBs, this can affect the dampening. Okay, so dampening, once you get yourself absolutely near on where you want it, then you finalize your dampening. You know, you always have to change it when you change any of these in the car. Any of these in the car. I'm going to do one more lap. Oh my god. Sorry about the driving, guys. Don't concentrate on this lap. <laughs> no, I don't use Nils' base for the, the motor. I like that. Do you see that? The oversteer there. Pretty sure because that's the rebound still quite stiff. Could be the toe though. Yeah, hold on. How's everyone doing? Thank you for tuning in. So today we're talking about dampening and how to get it right. What you're looking for. How to adjust it. Okay, so what we've done from our origin, original dampening, we've just gone down 15 clicks on, on the rear bump. Gonna do a couple of laps here. <clears throat> so let's see what we got now. Go. So let's have a look now. There we go. Okay, so now you can see. So these are the laps we just did. Right. So the, this here now, we lowered the bump, right? Now the numbers increase, and now you can see we got a pretty high pitch now, right? So like, okay. So now we've, so what's happened now, right? Falcon, are you planning on, no, I'm not. So what's happened now? Cause we've unstiffed, cause it was, like I said, it was over damped. Now we've softened it a little bit. It's actually doing what it's supposed to. So now we've got a true reading, in my opinion, you know, like when we lower the number, this number's going to come down, but it's going to bring the peak down as well, as well right now. So pretty happy with that. So, okay. 
Now what we're going to do. We're going to look at our... Go back to that setup quickly. Right? And we're going to go, okay, so that rear bump, we're sort of getting where we want to be with it. It definitely needs to come down. So I'm going to come down another three clicks. Like this. And then I'm going to go back to the graph again. So I'm saying, okay, the bump's pretty good. May have to come, we're probably going to have to come up on the fast bump a little bit. But as well now, we want to start looking at the front. Because there's a massive difference in the fronts as well. So I'm going to be like, okay, we've still got this massive higher bump on the front. So now we're going to go back to our setups. Okay, so that's on 20 as well. So what I'm going to do that with that now, I'm going to bring that down to 15 on the bump, on the front. Okay. Back to the graph. So the reason why I brought that down, because we're, we're running at 44. So like I said, these two numbers here, you're slow and fast, always want to add up to 50. Whatever you're running, whether, whatever, like, your, one, your graph may be running different properties to mine, but your... Average could be like 35 here, 15 here. It depends on how you set this up and how you want to, uh, how you run your property page. I don't know if you're using Neil's his workbook, uh, CDA workbook, I'm not too sure. But these two numbers always want to be around 50. 50 is perfect, but it doesn't always work out that way. But that's what you should be aiming for. Okay, you can see here, we need to bring the rebound up on the front as well. So I'm going to go one, two, three clicks. We're going to go to, uh, let's go 30, actually. Let's be a bit extreme with it. Right, so back to the graph. Okay, so we're going to, so we want this to be around 40, right? The bump on the front is way too high. We're at 40, we're at 53 right now, nearly. 50, nearly 54, way too high. We don't want that. We don't want that. And, and normally, like I said, like I said before, do you remember when the graph like here was like a big, like it was like a V. It didn't look like a pyramid. Here we got the spiky pyramid. And this is just because of the balance is out completely with the dampening. And this is what we're trying to control now. So when, when, the, when the front is say too stiff or the rear is too soft, the car is just unbalanced. And this is what causes the graph to look like this. You know, the car, it's not, it's not in sync. So when you're braking, the rear is too stiff and that's not coming up and it's dropping too fast at the front or vice versa. And this is why the graph always looks off. So always sort of go by the graph, you know, when, even though if you've got perfect numbers and the graph has that massive V or it's got these massive spikes, that probably means it's under damped over damped. I know I keep saying that, but I just really want to emphasize on that. Okay. So what we've done, we've changed our front now. We lowered our front and and our rear as well so now let's go back we're gonna do a couple more laps make sure the setup's good so yeah um like i said guys <laughs> negative toe is still quicker for sure everyone's still running full negative toe is definitely a lot quicker and there was a little nerf in it for sure to slow the bmw down again it's a bit annoying but here's what it is we're gonna work our way around it for sure for sure so we're gonna go out, do another couple of laps. Do what we got. I'm running 20 litres of fuel. Because uh, you never really run a car. I mean quality, you probably run at 15, but you know. Another trick as well, guys. I, I, giving away all my tips here. When I'm building a race setup, I never ever like I will do laps on full fuel, but I always test around the 90 mark. 98 mark. Because that's where the, the sort of the weight is gonna be at most of the time. Like you run on 120, but then first few laps are normally slow. I always test, I always start off on about 100 litres of fuel. Always on about 100 litres of fuel for, for Motec and getting down from the track. I feel like that's where you're really going to start hitting the race and, and going, you know. So we're going to do that out lap. Then we're going to do two flying laps. And I can tell you already, the car feels a lot more stable. I can feel it already. Maybe you guys can see it, but we are on the brake and on the throttle, it feels a lot better. Like, especially on acceleration. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Definitely a lot more, a uh, lot more rear grip right now. Well, that's that's off the bump for sure. Okay, so we're gonna do two flying up. Like here, like still a little bit of snap there. You see that? 
But it could be this cold tire that first lap. You know. this guys so, so uh, the difference on full fuel so depending on where the fuel tank is right but the BMW has a fuel tank in the back in the rear so when you add 120 liters essentially like 100 kilos of weight um, it can make the car from sluggish right really sluggish because all the weights on the rear the ride heights lower so you may have to adjust to that as well because quality setups, right, a pretty high rake on ATC. Most of the time, pretty high rake. Um, you know, so maybe in quality, maybe it's a bit softer. You know what I mean? Maybe you need to run a softer damper not Softer bump on the rear, just to, and, and this stiffer bump on the front, just to control the pitch of the car because it's so light on fuel and it's, you know, you're a lot more aggressive. Depends how, how much you want to go into the game and look into it, you know. Uh, depends how many races you do as well, if you have time to do this. You know, if you're just a person who races like, once or twice a week, and you just want to get into the, just make the car good, always make your race set up first. And then just come off the race set up and use that, you know. But if you really want to ascend to that next level, most of the guys make full-on quality setups and then a full-on race setup, you know. For sure. You just need to sort of think like, okay, if I had a full tank of fuel in the rear of the car, the rear's a lot heavier, the rear wants the pendulum, and when you don't have that, you need to be able to absorb that, that weight in the car. You know? Sorry about that. But there's like, yeah. Just like I said, it depends how much time you have and what you want to do, how you want to spend your time doing it. Right, now let's have a look again, see what changes. So remember, we softened up again. So we softened the bumps. And now, what should we have? Where are the new laps? Okay. You can see now, again, massive difference. So you can see here, from what we had. Wait, let's take that off. This is what we had before on the front. Right? And now, so the yellow lines are the what we had. And then the changes now, look at that. The rears are still a little bit off, but we've brought the front down, right? So that looks so much better. So as you can see now, let me turn that off. Come off, car, go away. Now you can see what we got. So that's what we had, to what we have, to what we turn. So this is what we have now, right? And now you can see the front start and I look at the start and the, the pyramids are starting to come together, right? You can start to see that now. You can still see though, we're still over over damped on the we're a little bit too stiff on the front. We definitely need to soften that for sure. And on the rear, still a little bit more. But as you can see, we had the perfect numbers before. Like like these numbers here were all perfect, but the graphs look shit. This is like I said, over damped, under damped. Um, we've brought the numbers down, and now we can see a pyramid starting to form. You know, so, like I said, they also, what do you mean? They also drive the lap differently. Sorry, man. But yeah, like I said, you can see the difference. Right, okay. So again, now, let's look at the front again. I would say on, on the front, we're, we're pretty good. If anything, maybe the fast rebound can come up. But I think what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to lower the bump on the front and bring the rebound up one more clip. So I'm going to go to my setup, dampeners. So we said we're going to have one more click of rebound. And I'm, I'm going to come down one more click on on, uh, on the front bump. So what we've done, we're going to try to lower this number a little bit more. We want to try and get rid of this peak. And that's definitely because it's a little bit too stiff. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to bring that down. And we've brought the dampening up, the rebound up. We've stiffened the rebound to make this graph come up a little bit. 
Okay, now let's have a look at the rear. So we can still see we have a massive peak as well on the rear. But the rear is actually a lot, quite a lot softer. So maybe our front needs to come down a bit more. Maybe it's the front that's causing. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to, I'm going to go down one click on the rear. One click on the front again, like that. Uh, the fast all look good. So like I said, we're trying to get our numbers to around 50. We want what we want to do, we want to get our pyramids nice. And then once you do that, then you feel like, like then you go, okay, so what do I need out of the car? Are you braking, coming off the brake? The car's oversteering, on throttle understeering it. And that's when you just make the minor adjustments in the bump or the rebound to get them effects, like what you really need. So we lowered that, lowered that, and we've hired up. Okay, so we've gone lower on the bump, uh, two clicks, right? Yes, so we was at 15, we're down to 13, and now we've gone down to 11, and we've gone one click on the rebound to try to bring the gra graph up. Yeah, so, 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 so like, a, this is just, for me and my setup, I'm just showing you, I'm just showing you how to get the graph, what, how to change, how to change your dampening to make the, get, get the perfect... Them, not the perfect dampening, but get it within the window. You're always looking for that window um, on your setup. So if you buy Dalkin setup, CBA setups, and you make changes, you can always adjust on the fly and get the dampening to within a working window. Because when you get it within a working window, you're going to find less time for sure. Tires are going to last longer. You know, this is the whole point of this video. So for sure. Okay. So let's go again. So we've made our changes. Now we're going to go back. We're going to drive again. Yeah, yeah. So we're adding numbers to, to, to bring the number up. Okay, stiffening the rebound. So the higher the number, the stiffer it is. The lower the number, the softer it is. Okay. So you're gonna try again. And I can feel like it's, I can definitely feel it's softer, for sure. But it feels nice, you know? Even on the outlap, I can always feel the, like it's getting better. I can feel this straight away, you know? We're going to do another two lap run. <clears throat> so certain tracks are going to want, you're going to run probably softer dampeners, like here. You know, it's not too high speed, like medium to low speed corners. So the dampener is going to be a bit softer, for sure. The pace is, well, Sam, the rebound is pretty high. The, the <laughs> The rebound's pretty high. The high speed tracks, normally the, the all-round dampening is a little bit stiffer, you know, to, to help get rotation. So just remember as well, rear, like if you increase the rear rebound, it's going to give you more rotation in the car and the bump, sorry, as well. It's going to give you a little bit more rotation on on throttle, especially and, and rotation through like mid to high speed corners. Do you know what I mean? But the car's going to feel oversteered. Okay. Increasing the front bump is going to give you a little bit more understeer, but it's going to help you. Um, going to going to help you uh, like control on like as you come off the brake, turn in oversteer. You know, so you have to find you have to find that balance. Like I said today, we just I'm just going to show you how I get the dampeners right, how to change them. Yeah, for sure. But like I said, don't worry about that time. That time doesn't really matter right now. <clears throat> Trust you, Jail. Trust you. Right, that should be enough, right? Done the lap. 
So now let's check again, see what them changes done. <clears throat> so let's have a look. Now, so remember what the graph looked like. And open a file log, next one. Did the 124. Okay. So let's have a look at the difference now. Was that the one? Yeah, we did slower laps, right? 128? Must have been the outlap. Okay. So now, if you look, sorry. So let's look at that. Look how we had it before. Right, now look at it. Before? It looked better, right? Now. Now we can see that the, the oscillation on the bump has got bigger. Right? Uh, so, Jayan, it's very hard, very hard to adjust the dampening by feel, in my opinion. Very hard. Like, I feel like you need Motec to do that. Do you know what I mean? So now this is where it becomes tricky. We sort of got it into the window, but now it's coming out again. I would say it looked better like this, but the left-hand side looks a bit better. So what we're going to do, we're going to drag this across and be like, okay, so now this is where the work really starts. Okay, we're getting it sort of towards the window, but the bump still looks too high on the front. And if you noticed, if you notice now, our fast bump has actually increased quite a bit, quite dramatically, actually. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the graph and go, okay, bump's still too high on the front uh, and on the rear. They definitely need to come down to what we're using. So we're going to go, we're going to go down two clicks on the front and one more on the rear. Now let's have a look back at the here. So we're just trying to get rid of this here, this spike. I'm pretty sure we will the lower we go. We may have to come up. Maybe I'm going too soft now. You know, but this is what we need to find out. Uh, the rear, for sure, I would say now we need to increase. Also, can you notice here? So there must be a few more right-hand corners here as well because the, the bump on the left-hand side of the car is lower. What do you mean? You can still see it, right? The barrier fades, hides the top right, so no one can see what you saw in Motec. Yeah, no, there's nothing to see there anyway. You can still see the numbers, for sure. You can change that, man. You can bring that. Oh, no, I don't want to move the whole screen. Let's just bring that down like that for the minute. There we go. So, yeah. Um, rebound, rebound's getting there. I feel like the fast bump could do with coming up a little bit. So obviously the left-hand side of the car and right-hand side, so there must be a few more corners. But if I feel like the left-hand side dampening, hmm. Yeah, like they're, they're nearly identical for sure. But as you can see, we've still got this like massive oscillation here, like this, 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 this peak here. Um... Which is not correct, which is not, this is not right. So there's something off with, with how the how the car's feeling and um, we need to find how to get that right. So, okay, back to the graph. What are we going to change next? I'm going to bring the rebound. Hmm. No, I think we want to get, if we get the bump in order, I would say, like, if you look at this here, the rebounds look pretty good, I would say. I feel like it's more, we need to, uh, we need to sort the bump out. So I'm going to go lower on the bump. Right, and I'm going to bring the fast bump down on the front and on the rear. One click. So now let's try this. So I felt like the, the, the rebounds look pretty good. We just need to figure out what's going on with the uh, with the bump, with the fast bump, uh, and the soft bump right now. The slow bump and the fast bump. Sorry, I feel like that's what's what's causing the most issues right now.
<laughs> so we're gonna do another two laps. Addressing the main thing here though, which is the center bar zero not being high enough. Yeah, so the reason is is because of the dampening. So whatever suspension you sort of set, you can make the dampening like that will come up and will be perfect, you know. You still gotta remember this is still a game. If it's, ooh, you know, so I find I prefer softer springs. I'm using that all my uh, all the things that I'm using are in the description below. The car just is getting better and better each time. So I'm really ha like so what I said at the beginning, guys. I'm really happy with my setup, like, but I just want to figure out the damper. So I will I will show you the effects of like what we can change ride higher, if, but that will be at the end. Just right now, I just want to focus on the damper and then let's get that right. You know, because I reckon there's a lot of people, like I said, who struggle. <laughs> when dampening is not right, or what to change, and how to get it to change, you know? Okay, one more lap. So when is it certain that spring rates are good? So that depends on feel, really. You know, obviously the softer the spring on the rear, you're going to have more traction at a high speed corner, depending on how you got how you got your car set up. So you could be having your car set up with maximum rate, um, you know, really stiff front end and then very soft rear end to, to, to get slow corner traction. Or you can have it set up the other way. You can have it dead flat and then have really stiff springs on, on, on the rear, you know, and soft on the front to make it rotate. So, Spring rate is, is dependent on how you set your car up and how you drive an ACC, you know? It really is. But like, that's the best way to explain it, no? Yeah, so MoTeC's completely free, guys. MoTeC is completely free to download. Anyone can use it, it's built into the game. Like, can you see how nice the car's gliding over the bumper right now? Like, you, I honestly can tell you, you will find time, and the car feels so much better getting your damping in right. <laughs> right, last. This is it. Okay. Go to the garage. Now let's have a look. Do we make it worse or better? Like I said, then this is the trial and error. Okay, there we go. So now you can see what we've come to now. Right? Now we've maybe gone a bit too low on the bump. The rebound looks like it needs to come down. Right? The front now, you can see, is a little bit as well. Still got, st still got that like inner peak. You know that dip but we're getting it's getting better each time right so we've gone from we started on this now we're down to this sorry then we went to this then this and now we finally arrived here so what can i do now to make this yeah Yeah, so, so dampening should, like, it can do a lot, right? So if you've got a very twitchy car, you can soften the dampening, you know, to make it feel not as nervous, for sure. 
But like I said, it just depends on how. So, so one thing I love about ACC, and this is what I've always said, ACC allows you to set up cars for your style, your driving style. If you're an aggressive driver, if you're like a more relaxed driver, smooth on inputs, you know. Um, like I said, this video today is just about how to get the damping in, how we want to get it right. Do you know what I mean? And we're nearly, we, I'd say we're nearly, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. So if we brought that spring rate up on the rear now, this would maybe bring that peak up on the middle. But like I said, I've got my car exactly where I want it. I don't want to change too much. If it's free to download, where is the suspension page? So th this is a workbook. You need to find workbooks. Mine's in my Discord if you want to, if you want to use it. Okay. So now, what's our next? What's our next move? You might be saying, where do we go from from here? So um, now you can see here, this this peak here looks a little bit better. I would say the left hand side, little bit off there. So I think the fronts need to come down on a bump. I feel like the rear bump now is very good. I feel like if we bring this down again. So what we're going to do? I'm going to go to setup. We're going to go to our dampeners again. And I'm going to bring this down to ten because that that looks like what it needs to, to do. Going to go back to our graph. So we should get rid of that. Now the rebound on the front looks better than it does on here. So maybe we're running too high a rebound now on the rear. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring this down to 31. Like I said, guys, this is just about fine tuning, you know, now. So now what we've done, we're going to bring this down. This should come down as well. So we may have to go back up on the bump, but let's, let's see if we can get a nice peak. Um, it's slowly coming together for sure, for sure. Yeah, so even with even with our route, we should still be able to get a decent a decent looking numbers and decent looking pyramid. Do you know what I mean for sure? But let's go out, do another couple of laps, see what these changes make now. And then once we've got a decent a, a, a decent base. Then we can make setup changes like I'll, I'll try and max springs and we can see the effects of when the springs are too stiff and, and what they do to their dampening you know because everything affects the dampening you know arb suspension bump stop ranges rates everything tune slow dampeners yeah so i always always sort of tend to, to do the slow first unless the fast are completely off but the fast do have a big effect as well on the car for sure but i i think you guys can even see this right in in the setup it just feels a lot more planted right now you know and also when you get a dampening right it may it may expose other weaknesses in your setup you know maybe you didn't need to run as much ride height you know maybe you didn't need the rear any rather as stiff as that you know but yeah this game allows you like i always say to, to set the cards up how you want to drive you know? let's see but we're going to do two time laps now Breaking point now, sorry. <clears throat> Obviously, short laps around the Guna, so it takes a few laps for the tyres to come in. For sure. So the car does feel a little bit still on theory on power. No, for sure.
last lap. Yeah, so the dampening also in high speed corners is very crucial as well. It can it can help through so much, you know. It just really helps with the the balance of the car throughout the throughout the uh, throughout the lap. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm using Max Toe. Still, you have to. It's still the fastest way, guys. I'm going to make a video on it. But everyone knows as well. That it's still quicker. Like, everyone's still running Max Toe, guys. Oh, a little bit of overstep. And like guys, there's probably people out there who know a lot more than me about it. But I'm just trying to give you the best version of what I, how I know and, and how I do it, you know? Just to help you guys as well. Okay, there's that two laps. Let's have a look now. Okay, so again, now you can see the peak in the middle is higher on the ribs. So like I said, any spring setting you use. Yeah, tire wear is still fine. Any spring setting you use, you can sit, you, you can get the dampenings right. You know, <laughs> hey, listen, no one knows more than Aris. He obviously made the game, you know. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Max Toe works on all cars, guys. All cars. So, let's see now. Is that the last one we did? So, <laughs> look where we started. Look where we started. Now look where we're at. You know? We're slowly getting there. So again, let's just put it across the two laps. So that peak's nearly there, right? The peak in the middle is nearly there for sure. Um, it's showing that the rebounds now are pretty high. I would say the toe looks pretty good. Maybe it needs to come up on the front. Maybe one click. It uses, yeah, so, but like I said... Like I said, our fast bump. So for me, for the properties that I use, right? This is my properties page, which I use. Right? I'm always looking for a 40 and 10. So I know, I, I know right now that I'm probably, I probably need to go down up on, on, on the toe now on the front. But I'm, I'm looking and, and, and I feel like the peak needs to be, you know, But let's see, the rebound on the front now looks way too high. So let's see if we can we can drop that down and it will help the rebound on the rear. You know? Yeah, it could be. So it could be anything, you know. Whatever you're running your properties at, you just need to find what, what works for you and how you get your grass right, you know? So like I said, always looking for 50. And as we can see here, it looks like the fast rebound needs to come up on the front. You know, and we need to lower lower it a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to start to do now, we're going to start to not, we're not going to be symmet sym symmetrical on, on the dampening. I'm going to start to set them up to get the best, the absolute fine tuning right now as well. So what we're going to do, let's look at our front. So, okay, the left-hand side is a lot higher, so we're going to need to bring this down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go, okay, look at the left-hand side. I'm going to say this needs to come down. <clears throat> On the dampening so it looks too high i'm going to go down two clicks for sure back to the dampeners and we're going to go okay I, I think the rebound also would like to do with coming up one click fast rebound yes so i'm going to try to bring that up 
the rear, I think, is going to turn out really nice. I think when we lower this peak here, this is going to bring the rear in and it's going to look really good. Really good. So it may need to come down more. I think on the left hand side, I'm going to go on the right side. Sorry. I'm just going to go down one click for sure. Um, the, the fast, the fast rebound looks pretty good That's, to be fair. Yeah, I'm going to come down in little increments now because I want to try and get it as good as possible. The fast rebound could do with coming down a little bit on the rear here. But let's see. So now let's try this. Let's see how we get on. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, but you can still see, you can still see the numbers, right? Okay, I'll try to move the camera, if it's really in the way. I don't know where we're going to put it. It's going to be in the way continuously, right? Bottom left. Okay, I'll try to move the camera. to see how much more how much better the car is we're gaining time and i'm not really pushing i'm not really trying to do lap time but you can just see in the car it's just easier to drive right we're gaining lap time just because of, of how nicely the car feels so balanced right now you know it didn't feel like this at the beginning that's for sure and i'm not driving i'm not driving to like i'm not pushing any harder this time around than what i was oh a second than what I was last time, still making mistakes, as you can see, still up. Sometimes as well, so your car, you may have a setup, and you're like, damn, man, these guys are running more rake than me. And then you get your dampeners right, and then you're like, damn, I can run more rake now, <laughs> you know? Yeah, oh, Niels, thank you so much, man. Yeah, I'm running. I'm running different values right now. I'm running different values right now. So what we did was we kept them asymmetrical until we sort of got them in a decent window. And now, and now we're, uh, and now we're we're going out not asymmetrical no more. And we're setting the car up for the actual track more than anything. And if you notice as well now, when I come down to um, when I've come down to the final bit. My, my when I start changing I'm only changing one click at a time nothing big do you know what I mean at the beginning I was doing 10 clicks 15 clicks and then once you find that you sort of get into a decent window uh, one click can be a massive change uh, do I change the dampeners in the rain it depends if I change right height springs you know you, you, you probably should but it just depends on time it really does And as you can see, I'm just, I'm, it's so easy for me now 
to, to do this lap time and I'm not driving any harder, I promise you I'm not. It's, it's easier to hit the lap. And that's what I'm just trying to get across how, not how important it is, but how much it can help if you have correct empathy for your setups. So now let's have a look. And I will, I will cut this up into a video guys for sure. Let's have a look now. Okay. We're, it's getting better and better each time. Oh, maybe not. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. So the front left now looks pretty good. Uh, the left hand side looks better than the right. I would say. So what we need to do now, we may have to bring the rebound down a bit, the fast and... Ronaldo, using really soft, high speed isn't the way to go because you're forced to use very stiff, low speed dampening and stiffer dampening. How can you say that, Ronaldo? Using really soft, high speed. Soft, high speed isn't the way to go. Well, I'm just showing you the way I do it. And it seems to work, right? Merc in the rain. I haven't driven that car in the rain, guys. So that would be, uh, yeah. But now you can see the fast rebound needs to come down for sure. Um, rear's not looking too bad. So front left, we're going to go down on the, I'd say down on the fast rebound. Uh, this side, for sure, 10.5, it probably needs to come down on this side as well a little bit. And that rebound needs to come down for that as well. That will probably bring the rear down. So now it's just fine tuning right now. More high speed rebound. Do you mean more fast rebound? Yeah, I, it, this here. So if we bring it down lower, the the, the angle is going to go down like that. It's going to bring it all up, you know. So it needs to come down. <clears throat> so now on the rear, the rear rebound could do. We're probably coming down a little bit as well. Let's have a look. We're going to go down one click on here and click on that side for sure. How does this side look? 94. I would say let's bring that fast rebound down. Like I said, now it's just now it's just wrestling with it a little bit, you know. Yo, how's everyone doing, guys? Do I ever use asymmetrical dampers? Yeah, all the time. All the time. But certain tracks like this and Brands Hatch, they, they make you use non-symmetrical dampers right like with like silverstone where i have the equal amount of corners you go you're gonna run that you know but let's see how it turns out like i said we're still we're just playing about we're trying to get it good oh master p no worries guys i'm, I'm listen like i said there's, a, there's people out there who know a lot more about dampening than me you know for sure but i'm just trying to give it to you the best way i know and explaining it the best i know right now just to help you guys, you know, so you just can make your own setups and adjust your own setups and, and get the damping because you guys can see, just by what we change tonight, the setup's getting better and better every time, you know, and that's what I'm trying to help you guys with. Like I said, I'm no, no astrophysicist, you know, I'm no Neil's no way for sure, but I try my best uh, and I just watched a lot of videos on it and I sort of understand it and I'm trying to give the knowledge over to you guys, you know, but don't kill me. No, so the high speed dampeners only affect only affect bumps. That's it. How they absorb bumps. They don't affect the car at high speed at all. Okay. <clears throat> no, that's 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 not true guys. That's not true. So the slow dampening affects the car throughout the lap. 
right? The hot, the the fast stuff only only affects bumps. You know, it's how it absorbs the bumps. Okay. Fast speed. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The, the fast speed stuff doesn't affect anything at high speed. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so we're not hitting too many carbs, but they're pretty low anyway. They're pretty soft because obviously the corkscrew, you know. I would say the changes we've made have made the car a little bit more unsettled right now. Right, we'll do uh, one more lap, because I think I can do a lot better lap than that. I just want to see what the effects are of the car. Guys, thank you for all the support and being patient. You know, just trying, <laughs> just trying to help everyone. So this will be our last lap, then we'll check again, just to see. Right, there we go. 25. Yeah, yeah, like maybe it is, maybe the game set differently, but I'm pretty sure from what I said. Right, so let's have a look now. Let's see what we're looking like. So we're still, we're just hovering around. It's like the fronts are nearly there, for sure. Um,. Hmm. I would, this front left is looking pretty good. You know, the, the, definitely the bump needs to come down a little bit right now. Again. But now we need to look at the rears, because the rears are off more than the fronts. I feel like we get the rears right, and then we're going to be nearly there. Do you know what I mean? But you can start, you can sort of see now that the middle bar is becoming the peak, you know? So, let's look at the rear. So, our rear, our rear rebound looks higher. We're going to have to come down again on that. And again, now we have another peak. All right. So, let's have a look. So, we're going to do... Let's have a look, see what they are, right? So, did, did you notice, right? We've actually lowered... So, what I've just noticed, right? We've lowered the rear rebound. And we're starting to get this dip again, right? We are starting to get the dip. So, the, the, what's that telling me? It needs to be higher, and this needs to be a couple of clicks lower. Right? So, we're going to stay on 31. I am also may have to bring this side down. <clears throat> it looks like it. It looks like it. So, now we're going to go back to here. I'm going to try something right now. We're going to go down a lot lower. But I'm actually going to bring this up to 32. Actually, How much faster are you with proper dampeners? Well, I wouldn't say it'll make, you, it won't make you, it won't make you loads faster, but it'll make you more consistent. The car will just feel a lot easier to drive throughout the whole stint, you know? 
So now we need to try and get the rears right. We're trying to, the fronts are nearly there. Like I said, this will probably come, oh no, no, we've got a bump, the bump needs to come down. So it's really weird. So the right hand side of the car is not right. The right hand side is not right. The rebound needs to come up on the front and the bump. So the rebound and bump need to come up one click each. Um, I would say the rebound might have to come up two. And then the fast stuff really needs to come down. Like that. Uh, to get that to get that peak right. Rear rebound. We've already done. So now we're gonna try this and see how this looks. Um okay. That front left looked pretty good. So we're gonna leave the front left. Like I'm just trying to just trying to show you can you can make it without them being symmetrical for sure. Like I don't know if you have ever seen uh, an extreme case of it was James Baldwin setup that he did for Donington, but the front left was just so much stiffer. I figured because they don't make a massive change handling wise. Yuri, they make a massive change handling wise. Massive change. You probably will go faster. You probably will go faster. Just because of that, of that the car feels just so much balance, balance, more balance on and off the brake and on and off the throttle. For sure. But like I said, this is just a time, this is the time consuming thing. If you want, you, this is how you make yourself get better and faster. Looking into this stuff and, and just keeping on top of it, you know, because the only thing with ACC, guys, you're going to spend all this time getting these dampeners nice, getting your car nice, right? And then, and then um, ACC will do an update and it does everything, all your setup is done. You have to redo them all, you know, so it can be super frustrating. It can, but just stick with it, you know? And you learn a lot by doing this, like, hot lapping. Um, just making yourself how you like them, you know, you'll find little things you're like, oh, okay, I don't like it when uh, when I have a too stiff a bump or, you know, maybe you're like me, you're aggressive on a throttle, so you have to have the rear a little bit softer sometimes, you know? You know, people like Ullman, who are, who are very, um, very smooth on the throttle and on inputs, they can probably run a little bit more of an aggressive setup uh, on the rear, because they're a lot, lot, a lot, uh, a lot smoother. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. And I hope this just gives you a good base to learn from. You know? For sure. Ooh. That was my line. That wasn't the car. My line was a little bit off. Yeah, I'm still using Max. I'm going to do a video on it, guys. Max is still faster. For sure. Okay, car feels a little bit off now. We've got a little bit more asymmetrical. Um, not an asymmetrical, we've got a little bit more off, you know, so maybe because it ain't symmetrical now, the balance is starting to come away from the car a little bit, you know. Max Toe and Camber is faster still, for sure. For sure. I'll do one more lap. <clears throat> so on front, on fish on that left rear, a lot of others there now. A little bit more than what we had before. Oh, I'm running 2TC, that's why. Right. My TC was low. <laughs> oh. Okay. So that's the first time he's done that, okay, since we've uh, doing south. And I think I was offline now.
Yep, yep, still max toe everywhere, guys. Max toe. Max camber. Right, now let's have a look. Yeah, we got them. For these chambers. Oof, so now we made them worse. Wow, look at that. Okay. So now we made them a lot worse. The front left still looks pretty good. Um, That front right looks terrible right now. And I said to you, right, the car fell... The car fell pretty often as well. As well. But you can see the, the rebound looking much better there. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to have to try I think soften that front bump. Anyway, let's bring it up again. So I feel like the bump needs to come down again. Um, so we need to go down on the on the bump, and okay. so we're going to bring the fast stuff down now a little bit. The fast bump for sure. Especially on this left hand wheel, right hand wheel, very, very high. But we're just trying different things right now. The, the rebound on the rear needs to come down as well. <clears throat> How's that fast rebound look? That could do with coming down a bit as well, to be fair. But now we're just fine tuning. Right now. How does the right rear look? This rebound could do with coming down a click though. For sure, it's just all a bit too too much right now. See if we can get it right. Um, front right as well. We're gonna do fast rebound now too. So again, the stroke. So like I said, we're just fine tuning right now, uh, trying to make it, trying to make it as good as possible. Um, user going to run for use. This is this is a typical <laughs> when you do the setup, a typical thing, right? You need to find like so the setup feels good, and we're just trying to find that that last bit in in the setup right now. So once we get them into a really nice window, I think another couple of runs, we should be there. And then what we'll start doing, we'll start, I'll go max spring rate on the rear and we'll see the effects it has on, on, on the damping in, right? Should we, should we, should we, would, that, would that be good? Is it max negative toe? Max negative toe, guys, front and rear. And it's really weird how how you can how you can feel like now the car feels balanced as soon as it comes out as soon as it comes out of the window it feels horrible. Nice rotating, very nice on the power for sure. Yeah, I'll talk about doing, man. That'd be good. Okay, off the brake now. There was oversteer. So that's the first time we've had that. So we know now. I think the bump on the front might be too low. So as I turned in, the rear just wanted to come down. We 
We're gonna do one more lap after this. I'm really gonna try to push on this next lap actually. Throw that nuts back. No, so I just push tab. I just tab it up and it comes up, you know. notice now is I have oversteer off the brake right now right let's go A little bit of on for a while this year, but the lap times are getting better and better. A little bit of a uh, slide there. But you can see now, even like we're not driving harder for sure. But again, easier to hit the laps. And this is what you're trying to do every time. You're trying to make a setup that... So just don't be happy. When you hit a really fast time, you want to make it so the car can hit it every time. You know, easier and easier. That's what I always aim for, you know. Now let's have a look. Oof, maybe we can the wrong way, for sure, right now. Oh, we do. So the more I bring, the more I bring the, uh, that front left, if we had everything like that, we're near on perfect. The front right might be too much. I don't know, but let's have a look. So again, now you can see these, like, so this is how it's gotten, right? We started here, first run, second run, third run, fourth run, fifth run, sixth run, seventh run, and it was getting better, and now we're just starting to come away from from, from what it should look like, in my opinion. Just a little bit. The front left still looks really good. Uh, the bump could do. We're coming down a little bit. Right, so we're going to go set up. So the bump needs to come down. One more. Uh, front right. The bump looks pretty good. Oh, sorry, the rebound needs to come down. The bump was actually pretty good. So the bump was pretty good. We're going to bring the rebound down. One more click on the front. Uh, so that should, that should be pretty good. Rebound on the left now. Looks like it's got too low. But the rebound's still too high. The fast rebound. So I'm going to bring that down to nine. On that rear left. It could do with going up a click for sure. So we're gonna go back up to that 31. Uh the right hand side, how are we looking? Miles too high again. I feel like if we can just bring this peak down, we're gonna be there. So again, we're gonna go down all the way down to nine. Back onto the grass, 39. So the bump needs to come up a bit, I would say now on the rear. Maybe that rear right, but then we're gonna bring this down to seven how's the fast bump on the left actually how's that fast bump on the left 9.9 so that fast bump on, the, on on that side is pretty good just a bit higher here the rebound we brought down so the rebound on this front right definitely needs to come down for sure i'm going to go down to eight. Oh, did we already do that we already done that right <clears throat> Okay, now let's try that. See if we can get that going. So for, for the scheme I'm looking for, with the way I've got my property set up, I'm always looking for the overall number to be around 50. So the overall percentage at 50 days. 
So, it can, normally I'm always, I'm always around that 40 mark, right? 39 to 40, and then I just adjust the fast dump, the fast, the fast dampening into soup. You know, but we, we want to get that pyramid right, and then we can adjust on fuel after. We need to get it nice first, and we're not there yet. It's not, it's not, it's not in the window completely. I want it to be in the window before I start adjusting to make it um, absolutely perfect for how I drive. You know. And I hope this is helping, guys. And if you have any questions, don't 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 be afraid to ask. Reach out, and I'll try to answer it to my best ability. I'm going to cut this video down, and I'm going to um, I'm going to make it. I'm going to clip it for us. You know, for sure. No, just to, just to hopefully help you guys out. Because like I said, it's too, it's so much to do. Yeah, that feels pretty balanced. You can normally tell by the field tour, but you can never get the damping in right. For sure. Um, by feel alone. You need to use Motex to get that damping in right. You know? <clears throat> the castle's definitely a lot better. One more lap, let's see. It's actually three tenths up. Car's not sliding as much into the corner either. Is one eighteen possible? I know maybe cold conditions in a McLaren. I mean in um in a Porsche maybe. But right there, braking on entry and then the car sort of is like was on the bump stop ranges and they come off. I had to slide. You know? Oof. Yeah, no worries, man. We had a bit of free time, and I thought, yeah, let's do it. But I was going to do it in a video form. But I just, that, like I said, like we've been streaming already for like, I don't even know, an hour and a half. Imagine trying to cram this all into a 20 minute video, I think it'll be impossible. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick out the best part and cut it right down. I can feel the car sliding off the brake a lot more now. So basically, this is just, I just want to give you guys a hand and just understand what to change and what to look for, you know. And even I can't get it right all the time. You're always searching for that perfect, that first perfect dampening or perfect setup, right? Okay. <clears throat> So again, <laughs> now the rebound. So the right hand side looks okay, but now the rebound's gone low. It's getting better though, but again. <sighs> yeah, oh guys, how we doing? DC2 again. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I didn't didn't see. But the left hand side's looking a bit better. Um bit more of a peak, right? So let's sort the left hand side out. Again here now though. 
the rebound looks too high. The fast rebound. May so maybe, maybe right now, I've gone too soft with the fast stuff. You know? Trying to get it right. So no, the first rebound's pretty high. Okay, so we can still bring that down. So we're gonna bring the rebound up on the front. Uh, as we can see here though, this 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 looks pretty good, but again, it's telling me we're 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 too soft um we're too soft maybe. So rear left, I'm going to bring that fast rebound down again. <clears throat> so for the right, we need to come up on the rebound for sure. Um, go down again. And then the bump, same thing. Yeah. But maybe, maybe, so we're, we're sort of getting into that window now um, of where, of where we may be going too soft. You know, so <clears throat> so the top left, the fast bump, I'm going to bring down again. Um, and then the rebound, rebound looks pretty good. I think it's more the bump that we need to sort out again. So we made them changes again, and now this is what we're sort of around now. Um, it's a sort of we can't see the top right because of your face. Yeah, but what, what do you need to see there at the top right? You know, on the on the histogram, you can see you can't see the peak, but basically the peak looks the exact same as as this one here right now. You can see the numbers for sure. So just imagine this graph, but with the numbers. Okay. So again, we've sorted out, we've tried to sort out again, but this front right is always running a little bit stiffer, um, a little bit stiffer on the rebound on the right as well. So now what we're we going to do, we, we may have gone too soft. We're going to try it, try this now, but we may have to start stiffening because we've gone too soft. So now we've under damped, you know? So yeah, this, this, this like I said, all about just just trying things and like I said it's very hard to get dampening right so Tommy you want to see the bump stop ranges we haven't really set any bump stop ranges I don't think they're even engaging right now um, they're pretty high But the car does feel a lot better. Like I feel like what we're, the way we're going is right. Maybe we've just gone a bit too extreme right now. You know, but you guys understand now how to bring it down. You know, it's, it, it is it is all about testing um, and just trying to get it right. So we're going to do two fast laps now. Again, let's see how that car feels. We're going to go back to 3TC. We've been trying to do it on two. Oh my god. A little bit of understeer on turning. 
right now as well. And uh, yeah, this is why everyone calls this game AC, AC Setup Simulator, you know, because you do spend more time making setups than, than driving. Do I need one more lap? Castle's really nice now, but hopefully when we get back, that grass looks a bit better because I feel like Castle's uh, the best it's been so far. Oh, I don't know, it bounced a little bit through there. It didn't absorb the bump as what like we wanted. And there we have it. The first time, 39 laps. But uh, yeah. <laughs> But just remember the the uh, the bump is when you brake and a rebound when it comes back up in front. You know the bump is when you accelerate, rebound when you come back up. You know? So now let's have a look. <laughs> we may have gone like like I said, we may be far too soft right now. I don't know, it's, get, it's getting better. That got better that time. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. The rears look a little bit better, but again, like I said, this game, you know, you can feel like you're getting somewhere, then all of a sudden, boom out of nowhere, rebounds again too high. Um, so let's have a look again. <laughs> so now I would say, right, the bumps look in a really good place. They could probably do a coming up a little bit. But they're on they're on the limit. The bumps on the right don't look great at all. The front doesn't. But let's see if we can clear the rebound up now a little bit. So what's happened now? Okay, so let's have a look. So it, it's really weird to find that, like I said, to find that this this perfect zone is so difficult, guys. So difficult. So let's have a look. So we're gonna bring the rebound down one click on the rear and then one click on the front. So we're gonna go 30 like this and then let's see like i said it's got to be one click at a time now because we really are nearly in that window unless unless the rear is pretty good and we just need to bring the front down maybe that's where we're going wrong so what we're going to do we're going to leave the front as it was and we're just going to bring the rear down okay uh the fast bump looks pretty good there maybe that could do it coming up a little bit the fast bump needs to come up now on this side on um but let's see let's try and leave that for a minute uh now the bump on the rear here this is telling me okay let's have a look the rebound's too high on the rear and the rebound needs to go up on the front again so we want up one click up there down one click here um and then the fast rebound again He's saying it's too, too much. But now we're getting into that realm. Oops, sorry. The bump looking pretty good. The bump could do with coming up on the rear and the fast bump down. Really. Um, about the front. Front bump, just the fast bump needs to come down. So we're going really soft by looks of it now.
Yeah, maybe maybe it will show a little bit more, but we're still not in that in that correct window for for me personally. Yeah, I wouldn't like to to sort of leave that and then come away from it. You know, and just to sort of go by feel. I feel like there's definitely a little bit more adjustment like, like we, we're doing right now. Let's see if we can get it. I feel like it's so close. And this this can take you, like I said, a, a long time to do. Like, we've done 40 laps. 40 laps, and, and we sort of made some big leaps at the beginning. And now we're just fine tuning. And this is how long it can take. You know? But I totally understand where you're coming from, um, Stephen. For sure. Uh, you, we did take twice to the rebound. Yeah, <laughs> did get a pretty big whack, but still, we're still outside that, that working window that I would like to be in before I. Uh, before I sort of left them and then just went off the feel of what I needed, you know. We had a little bit of off the off the brake, right? Obviously, we have increased that front bump now. So I wonder if that will help, you know? Nah, no, still, can you see, see that? Obviously, it's first lap though. So I really shouldn't look into it too much. It feels really nice over the curbs. Like I, I don't have no feeling of any carbs right now. But it's because we've got this, the uh, the fast stuff pretty soft. You know, maybe it's too soft. What we're gonna try to do if we can't get it right. Okay, okay, really bottomed out. Then as well. On the left, yes. My view settings are all in my Discord. My FOV is just 39, guys. Is that is that's what you're looking for? FOV is 39. Yeah, so now, now I'm off of field. I feel like the car's a little bit too soft. You know, the fast stuff's just a bit too soft. Maybe. Especially through here. I can really feel the car bottoming out now. So maybe we have gone too, too soft. Yeah, how are you doing, man? So let's see now. So what we're going to do, if we can't get this right, we're going to start stiffening back up because we're over, we've, we're too soft on the fast. That's what's causing... Yeah. Oh, man. So, <laughs> it, it doesn't look too bad, but the car's starting to bottom out. 
He's saying that fast rebound still needs to come down a bit on uh, on the rear. Um, the right hand side. So let's quickly sweat this left hand side. So we're going to go down. One more click up there. It's so weird. That you just found the rebound on the left. One click, right? And the guy said. Now the right hand side um, looks a little bit worse, to be fair. The numbers, so, so we've got the same thing we had at the start. You know, I think now we've over softened the bump on the right. Maybe. So now we need to decide what to do. Do I do I do one more soften, stiffen the rebound on the left? I tell you what, we're gonna have one more go. That's right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring that you sound the rear rebound, the right rebound needs to come up. This needs to go down. Uh on the front is pretty good. <laughs> Actually. I would say, if you look at that, right, I would say they're pretty good. I'd say it's more the bump, actually. I'm actually going to leave that right now. I actually think it's the friggin' bump, dude. I think our bump's completely off on the rear as well. So we're going to go down on a bump. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to go uh, down to that. So I've softened the bump quite a bit. More on the rear than I am on the front. Now let's see. Now let's try this. But it's getting better, right? Definitely getting better. And these, this process can take you a long time, but once you sort of have it, it's a, it's a good feeling. You know, and when you're seeing so many graphs, you sort of know what to change, what you're looking for. Certain dampeners will work for such. So this track, this, like Brands Hatch and, and Laguna, like Laguna work pretty well, damp dampeners maybe. So say if you're ever stuck and you don't have MoTeC and you're trying to get, you made a setup and you, you want good dampeners that are going to be work, like inside a working window. Try to think of what track has these dampeners, right? So go, okay, I'm a Zamble. The Guna Taker though, dampeners will work there pretty well. So say if you have a Dow King setup or a CDA setup, just nick the dampeners off of them. If you can't. Yeah. Uh, if you can't do the dampening by yourself. Maybe that be, maybe a decent base to work from as well. Yo guys, thank you. 200 likes. Let's go guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Feels good again now. But don't be scared to try it. So if you've gone to like extreme, like I feel like I'm a little bit on the extreme side right now. Um, you know, maybe I need to come back up, you know. But we'll see this run for sure. If we are too soft. I feel better, much better on and off the brake though. A little bit too, uh, a little bit too aggressive down the braking for sure.
Oh, pretty nice, pretty nice nap right now, for sure. Car took that bump, do you remember before we bounced on it? So maybe it looked a bit too stiff. A little bit of the fast stuff wasn't uh, being as good as well as it could have been. Let's see, uh, let's see what it looks like now. Boom. Well, look how many we've got. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete, delete them all. Let's just open a new tab. we we'll do a few more runs. Wow, that front looks really good now. Hmm. So now, see what I mean? Like, we've got rid of the massive oscillation though that was on the right hand side, for sure, for sure. So we're not, we're not too far off now. Again, uh, the rebound again is too high though for some weird reason, and the bump too low. Okay, so what we're going to do now? I don't really want to. Feel like we're going too soft, maybe. So, but you sound the rebounds too high and the fast rebound. And the rebound on the left too high. So let's just bring this down to 12. Well, the near on the same now. The fast bump. Tether bump looks pretty good. Fast one could do be coming down a little bit on the right. Maybe going up one left, one click, but I want to leave that quickly. Bump on the front, it looks too low. Uh, so I'm going to go up on the rear one click. 39, 37, it's too low on them. So this is like where you just need to friggin try different things, right, to get it good. Yes, yeah, so asymmetric things are definitely a thing, for sure, like Brands Hatch. For sure, everyone was running asymmetrical dampers. <clears throat> the rebound on the right front looks a bit too high. So we're going to bring that down one click now as well. Also with a fast dampening, which we did. Um, and the rear, the rear the rebound could do with coming up. But yeah, we can't get this friggin' rebound right on the rear. Do you know what I mean? And 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 this is the this is just the nitpick, like the nitpicky thing of it, trying to get it right. But we're getting there. Like every lap, we're going faster. The car's getting more and more balanced. You know, so that's the main thing we're looking for. So we're going to do this run guys and then afterwards I'm going to start messing with spring uh, maybe we'll just go like maximum spring rate and we'll see the difference I feel like you guys understand now the gist of, of what we need to change and how you need to change it to sort of get there
What's up? Coffee is really good. No, I'm really happy about the car feels to be fair, but sometimes you can get too engrossed in dampness. You have to go like searching for that, for that perfect, perfect graph, and then you forget about driving. You know, and you just you just end up doing the one lap, two laps, and sometimes you just have to stick with the setup you got and just drive it to get the most out of it. gonna do one that run now. Just to see. <clears throat> right, so let's have a look. I feel like we've got them pretty good. You know, I don't like this uh No, it's, it's, there's something not right. I think it's because I've softened. We're, um, see what I mean? How difficult this can be sometimes. The rears look a lot better now. The front looks really good. Actually, that's probably the best we've had it so far, right? You know, you can see here now, we've got the peaks, the middles to peak. You see that one? And that's how it looks on the front right as well. So this is the best we've actually had it. <clears throat> um, so far, for sure. I'd probably say they, these are sort of inside the window. I'd like this. I don't like this flat spot. I'd like it to be a bit more pyramidy, you know, for sure. Like the rear left, the rear right here a little bit. So we not sort of know where we're at now. With this, so what I'm thinking. That front right still looks a bit shitty though. To be fair, it's, it's that bump again. It's too high. Just that front right bump. So we try to bring that, we're going to bring that bump down one more click and I've done a little bit of a one click less than that. So that should give us a bit of a better peak right now. Um, and the bump on the rear could do with coming down one click. But that should level that out. So I'd say now these are sort of in a, within a working window. I'm pretty happy, you know, we only did one lap. So now you can see, guys, where we've come from, from last time. So we was on the right road to, we're to this now, you know, a little bit better. For sure. What graph was we just on there? What the hell? Did I just have the wrong graph? I don't know what's <laughs> they did look good but yeah so he was just reading something they they looked the best that they had been i'm pretty sure we did so that wasn't the 22 we did last that was it was it 22 8 it might have been oh, okay so this is what we did
Hmm. You see where the car's been sitting, that's why for a long period of time. So what I did, I come off the wrong lap. So we had this lap engaged where we were sitting. You know, and I just literally come off of here. And this is what was giving us the peak. You know. But they they look pretty good. Yo, Nate, how you doing? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So I feel like we're at a decent spot right now with the car. But we definitely need to uh definitely need to. So what we're gonna do now, I feel like we've changed a few things, we should be good. What I'm gonna do to the setup, let's increase. I'm gonna go max spring let's go max spring rates, right? And then we're gonna see what 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 it changes in uh Yo, no worries, guys. Thanks for stopping by. So now we're just going to play about with it. We're going to do some some really crazy changes. Yo, thank you, Taj. Thank you. Appreciate it. So now we've got max spring rates, and we're going to see how this affects the dampeners. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit something different, right? A bit more of a relaxing the so ride higher springs uh, ranges everything that that all affects the dampening guys so the car is super safe now I wonder what lap time we could do. The car feels very nice though. Definitely feels drivable. on the slip they're on max springs right now and don't be don't be afraid to explore these different spring rates and stuff as well guys you know let's see where we gain and loop time on on the softer springs With stiffer springs definitely going to give us a bit more, a bit more like mid corner high speed balance as well for sure. Going to get a little bit more understeer. No, tire 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 pressure don't affect affect them. You can see that on throttle, but we're we're running max front end right Here. I'm surprised how like much grip there is. Yeah, I feel like the I, I prefer the BMW with a softer rear. So any of my Patreons know I run the car pretty soft. Um, you know. Anyway, just the way I prefer it. The 23, so we're definitely slower. But there uh, we did we did hit the bump right there. See there now, a massive bit of old steer. But we just want to see how this affects dampening on the graph, really. This is the main main thing for it. So the car's a lot more stable on the front, but a stiffer the stiffer front end for sure. Much more responsive. Um, I feel like I can I can break a little bit later as well. You know. 
But don't worry guys, I'm going to cut this video down. Um, just explain that, um, so you guys can watch it. Yo, man, it's nice one, man. Still do track days, let's go. Oh, nice, man. I hope you do learn something. I hope I explain it pretty well. Well, I explain it the best I can. So now let's see the difference we have with Max Springs. There you go. That's Max Springs. There's hardly any difference, guys. Can you see? It hasn't brought the middle bar up anywhere, you know? Everything's all stayed the same. Oh, John, thank you, man. I appreciate it. So, yeah, like I said, whatever springs, find the springs that sort of work for you, you know, and, and sort of all at fun, right? GT cars, you want to set them up as stiff as possible um, to a point, you know, but just think, okay, Monza, probably Spa, Silverstone, you're, you run the springs a little bit stiffer. Um, tracks like Zanvolt Brands, that's just very bumpy, taking a lot of curve, you're going to run them softer. So just always sort of be like, always think of that when you're setting your springs up. Find something that works, and then I'll then make dampening around that. Do you know what I mean? But you may. So so what happens to me sometimes? I may be running the car a bit soft, right? Say like this. Maybe I was running I don't know, like this. Um, but then I get my dampening right, and it may it may allow me to to run a bit more, a bit more anti-roll bar because now there's actually a little bit of understeer in the car because of how the, the dampening feels, you know, like you've got your dampening good, it, 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 and it can give you more pace, you know, for sure. Definitely worth looking at. Definitely worth looking at. Uh, right, minimum springs. Let's try minimum springs, and then see how it affects it. Right, so like I said, springs don't really, they do affect it a little bit. Um, you will have to, so, Imagine a stiffer spring in a car is not going to allow the car to absorb the bumps as much. So the softer dampening that we're probably running now is probably really helping it. Do you know what I mean? To a, to a certain extent. But let's see how it feels, it feels on softest springs right now. But like I said, a higher rebound on the rear um, can really help with the rotation of the car. I feel like I feel like the, the bumps on the rebounds, like the, the whole dampening in general, in this new update is so much better than what it used to be like it has so much influence on the car so much influence it's crazy uh not really springs are more springs are more, <laughs> more about the track you're on like how bumpy it is you know you don't really want to run a really stiff spring uh, a really bumpy track a high speed track, you probably want to run the springs on a little bit more of the stiffer side, you know, just to keep the, the, the balance of the car correct. Um, without the roll bars as well, you know. But this is all, this is all just, yeah, we're just doing it how, how I sort of do it. So now we're running the softest springs you can run with an amp. And let's see if there's any more changes. Yeah, okay, go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For 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 snares, I run pretty soft springs. You know that track's super bumpy. You like to use a lot of the curbs everywhere. The car's very light. I can feel it rolling loads. That makes sense, like the front really is really feels like you're in one of your granddad's old cars, I think. Right now it's really spun here, bro. We're gonna complete this lap and then just see what it looks like. You know. I'll tell you where it's a good uh 
I can sort that. Uh, no bird ring. You know when your springs are too stiff? Like, if you can't get it soft, like the dampening soft enough, when you hit that curb, it just doesn't absorb it and you just... Oh, actually, can you just bounce off of it? You know? But now, let's see. And like I said, you can always be chasing your tail with the dampening. It's super difficult to get it right. It really is. But you can feel when you're sort of there, because the car will balance so much better. And once you're there, then you just adjust. So, like I said, if you're coming off the brake and, and it's oversteering, increase the bump on the front a little bit. If you've got mad oversteer on corner exit, but you don't really want to change your roll bars, decrease the rear, um, the rear bump a little bit, you know? All these little tricks really do help. Right, let's have a look. So let's have a look with the softest now. Again, no change, right? Look at this. So this is with softest springs, right? This is with max springs. Can you see any difference? Not really, right? So this is what I'm saying about how springs don't really affect the graph too much. Do you know what I mean? But they, they, sorry, they do affect it. Like the ARBs of ride height affects it. But say if you have that all sort of good, you can sort of get the dampening right and then just adjust the springs, try different spring settings, you know, for sure. And now this is with the softest springs. So, yeah. The dampening looks pretty good, I would say, overall. It looks pretty nice right now. Feel like we're in a good spot. So right, let's go back to what we had spring wise. Um, what did we have? What was we running? Was it fifteen hundred on the front or thirteen hundred on the rear? I think it was like this, right? Right now, what we're we gonna do? Now, now we're gonna be extreme. Right. So I think we've gone too stiff with a fast. I feel like that's where we're struggling on the dampeners. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go. We're going to go, what's, what's, is it 50? 49. So we're going to go 24. Last bump. We're going to go 24 all the way around. And sometimes this is good just to do a couple of laps, just to see the difference, what you get. Because you can, we can always go back to what we had. Right? So we're going to go middle of the road. We're just going to go middle right now. And we're going to see what effect it has. And this is, this is, you know, something I always tell everyone to try for sure. Oh, sure. 225 like Let's go, guys. And guys, anyone got any questions? That will. Oh, mate, Grim, the uh, the Nerva, the the Bentley and Nerva rings rapid. Definitely 50 degrees. Well, no, 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 50 degrees. You know, I think Jordan got into the 52s in the in the pool. So yeah. FST, what's FST? Is that another like, is that like um, racing simple? So what we've done now, we've just stiffened all the fast bar. Okay, and we're going to see what effects it has on that graph. And on that number, on that right now. Right, Yeah, so I think if you can get into the 54s, 54s would be great. If you can get yourself in the 54s in our piece of temperatures, like 21 or something, then you're on the right road, bro, for sure. Right, let's go. Path is pretty nice. Curious what it's going to look like on the ground. See what effects we have. <clears throat> Maybe we went too soft at a certain point. All right. Yeah, yeah. Look, so one of my good friends is on a Logitech G29, 
and he's just as quick as me. He's not quicker than me, you know. And that's Ullman. The guy, you, everyone knows Van Ullman, the Dust Destroyer. He uses a G29. Great wheel to start on this. Great wheel to start on, and even now, <laughs> Amir was beating. Was winning esports events on a broken G29. But yeah, definitely a good wheel, my man, to start with. So I can really feel the curves now. So with a fast rebound, you feel the curves are more pronounced. You can feel it in the wheel. A little bit more... Um, I was pulling the wheel left and right a little bit more. For sure. Carpenter's a little bit more... Um, stable in a fast corner. Right, let's have a look now. Let's see what these effects done to the dampening. So may, maybe this is where we went wrong, guys. Um, let's have a look. Maybe this is where we went wrong. Um, maybe we, we softened the, uh, <laughs> the fast rebound and that a little bit too much, you know, just the, the fast bump and rebound and, and it's easily done, you know, for sure. I'd say it needs to come down a little bit, but like I said, this is just, this is just where we want to go. So let's try max now. Just, I'm just curious what the effects of max will have. Right, let's go max. Because there wasn't... So how I know I went too soft right there, uh, if we have a look at the graph, right, our numbers, our rebound, our fast rebound and bump, they're not too far different uh, to what they was here. They're actually better. So that's how we know. Okay. So that's a great, great way there. We went too soft. I was down to like four or five. Um, and then it was just, it was underdamped. And that's why we, we couldn't get it where the graph where we wanted to go. So great, great thing. But let's test Max then. Just curious what's going to happen. Let's get used to a track and car combo. So for me, and a lot of people may hate this choice, but Catalonia has every single corner on of nearly every single track. Like it's one of the best tracks I feel to test cars that um uh, no so I always look at the numbers as I'm building a setup. I'm always checking on them, adjusting them as I'm going. Just so they keep because I always like to keep them in a decent window. You know what I mean? I feel like you need to do that to, to keep the setup good. So now we're running max fast bump. And uh, remount. Let's see the effects it has. <laughs> Y'all master P, that's what I'm doing, guys. 228 lights, thank you so much. Like I said, I'm going to cut this down, just clip it up for the bit the parts we need. Oh, I'll tell you what, as well, guys, if you quickly could do this to me, this would be great. If you could comment in the section below what part of the video that really helped you today. Just so I know what parts to really add as well. Is there, is there a part that I explained that you thought, okay, yeah, I learned a lot from that. If you could quickly do that for me, take two seconds, just leave a comment. That'd be really good. As well. Was very stable in the past, happening. Uh, absolutely, absolutely maxed right now.
Like I said, the dampening has a massive effect on the car after 1.8 for sure. Time now, let's see what this does. What it did, sorry. Uh, black grass. So we're just checking different things right now and what effects it has, you know. So now you can see the fast stuff is a lot more pronounced. You see that? So I just learned something new there as well. <clears throat> but maybe maybe we had the fast stuff too low as well at the beginning you know but you can see all four all the way around now yeah so yeah the, you can see so maybe increasing that fast dampening as well would have helped with the graph a little bit when we were trying to trying to get it on point. So if we brought it down a little bit now, maybe that would be good. But like I said, this this wouldn't work. Like it's definitely over damp right now, for sure. Like max max fast bump and rebound is not great. So maybe we do need to come up on spring stiffness as well, you know, and then that will that will allow us to bring it to bring that down as well. Right, guys. So let's just let's just recap. Let's just quickly have a little recap. To lower these numbers, this, this so this is your slow bump and your fast and your slow rebound, bring the number down. Okay, bring this down, this slider up and down. So increasing it will bring the number up, reducing will bring the number down in most in most terms, right? But but do you remember the first one we did, right? When we had that, when we had this, when we had this. This meant that we were un we were over damped on the fast bump. But whenever you get this V like this, that, like what you can see here, it means the cars under are over damped. Okay, so you need to probably when it's so look at what sides where the peak is here. Did that was telling me there that it was uh, over damped that the bump was over damped. So when I brought that down, it it become a lot better, right? And it started to level out, and we started to get a bit more of a peak. Do you know what I mean? So whenever you have something like this, this is what this is. When you have a massive high peak like this, you can just see the numbers are off. That's probably because also the rear is helping. The rear is doing this as well. But you know, it's just the numbers. So yeah, always just try to keep your eye on that. Um, and if you haven't already, join the Discord. If you have any graphs that you want people to look at, just post it in the sales page. I'll try to get back to everyone as much as possible as well. You know? Hey, bro, have you ever thought about VR? No, not until like I don't want to race properly. You know, and I'm just doing this for fun. At the minute, I feel like we're grinding. Like, we really want to do well when SRO and stuff. So, at the minute, VR just makes no sense for me. Uh, but after all that, for sure. For sure we will. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to clip it up. If you guys can leave comments uh, what part helped you, maybe I'll make another video. But I'm going to try to clip this down and break it down into a short 20-minute video for, for, for everyone. Anyone got any questions before we call it a night? Feel like we've done pretty well. Feel like we covered a lot of damping in what to do and what not to do. Anyone got any questions? 132 likes. You guys have been amazing tonight. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Any questions? No, good stuff. Good stuff. All right then. Well, I'm going to call it a night. Hopefully, you guys all had fun or learned something. Oh, great stuff, Tom. Really appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, we're going to be back. We're racing tomorrow. We've got v we got a big... Uh, me and uh, Luke are going to be racing in the championship on Saturday. VTRL, big prize pool, going to be immense. Can't really wait. And then next week, we start next gen. Loads of stuff coming up. And we need to get back on that grind and get, get back winning races and get back to the front. We've been off this week. After that update, I just haven't found the groove. But um, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Right, guys. Good night. I hope this helped. Bye-bye. I'll always be around, I'll always be around, I'll always be around. I'll always be around, I'll always be around.